hello everyone and welcome back to a new unreal engine for you video so within this video we'll actually be discussing something very interesting and people purely can't tell how it made uh, the workflow for it within unreal engine is a little vague but actually it is one of the most amazing features with unreal engine 4 and actually it's very powerful and you would know that if you're working in a big game or uh, working for a steam or something you'd really know how amazing this thing so it's basically localization and localization is an unreal engine uh, being uh, weird actually till uh, unreal 4.7 or something and the workflow involves lots of weird steps but since 4.8 or something they developed uh, some tools which is still uh, let's say experimental and yeah but it works actually but use it in your own risk i use it in my own risk and actually i never had a risk it always okay so anyways i'll start here with a basic project and let's yeah let's just blueprint project servers on a plank let's plank and yeah no sort of content and let's give it the name it's called something related to the matter this localization let's create the project Yeah, so we have a big, good, empty project here. So nothing in the content, nothing here, pretty ground. So yeah, that's it. So because as you said, this is experimental. So we have to open the project settings. Oh, sorry, it's not here. Edit project. No, not project. Editor settings. Yeah, sorry. In the editor settings here, we come to the experimental section and let's select the localization dashboard before we select if you come here to the window there is nothing called localization dashboard but if we select this from the editor preferences enable it so we have here localization dashboard open it, it looks weird but it's yet fun let's delete this one which already here called game and let's add a new target and let's call this target whatever we want i would call it gameplay localization which is basically the localization for my gameplay and here as you can see where I need it always not only editor not only game here is the most interesting part gathering information or gathering the text to be localized you can gather the text from text files this is only if you have a source code or your C++ project because if you have this option enabled you can choose where and then you will be Unreal will be searching within header files, C++ files, and INI files, but I don't want this, so let's, because it's a blueprint project, so let's, let's just disable this, let's just disable gather from text files. I would prefer to use gather from uh, packages, which is efficient, because we are using a blueprint project right now, and let's choose where to search for those files, which basically will be in my content, all my blueprints will be here, and let's say as file extension, by default, you map new asset, I don't want you map, I just want new asset, because all blueprints have a new asset extension, and yeah, I think that's the majority of the setup, let's go down here, and let's add a new culture, this is a culture, I have already English now, which is by default, and let's look for Chinese, this is where I belong right now, so yeah, Chinese simplified, not Chinese China, Chinese simplified, yeah, this one, and let's choose China version, so and yeah, that's pretty much it about setup, so let's go and add some text so let's add a blueprint here just a normal blueprint to show how you can localize some text and it's actor blueprint let's call it test blueprint again pp okay and let's put an instance here in the scene and let's open it i'll basically add a string but i mean a word or something but let's make it this string but basically it will not be string it's text because string values are not captured by the localization dashboard so it should be text but yeah i prefer to call text string but yeah it's it's complex and just let's add text this text one and this text two and yeah just two texts let's write in the first one hello and let's write in the second one thank you yeah thank you is good so hello and thank you and let's just basically we are going to print those two words to the screen you can use those text to do anything you can use it to put a new eye so come here again to the 
here and let's hit gather and save selected it need me to save the map so basically when we hit gather it will go and search within the U assets for all the text variables and bring it back to us so one hit here yeah it's finished let's hit ok and yeah it captured three for me ah okay data table okay uh, okay so it captured for me three values and we can check this actually but for the Chinese it didn't capture anything and also it created here a localization folder for me which have some assets but if you open this in the Explorer you find more and more files but here let's let's go here again to this important export section and in this Chinese the one which didn't capture anything let's hit edit as you can see there is new need review and untranslated and within untranslated it actually captures the two text i have hello and thank you and so let's write here in hello let's call right niha and within thank you let's write this chinese thank you she -she, and it tells me here it's safe so let's write she -she. so yeah that's basically how you localize text so we've done it let's save it's already saved actually and let's come here to the localization dashboard and let's uh, let's count words it will start searching for us again and give us a different cut and now we have three in English and zero in Chinese it will generate word country word and okay so now we have three and three and the part is, uh, is orange which means that everything is translated and there is nothing bending or need translation uh, so okay so let's come here to the test map or something and let's open our blueprint here and let's add some logic to print actually this two text or two piece of text okay it's still Chinese let's switch to English okay so let's just print string and let's print test text one get this one print it and let's uh, let's delay wait like two seconds or open two seconds is enough and let's print the other one which is test text 2 let's uh, connect this here and let's bring this one connect it and delete this one so basically the expected behavior now we print hello and then thank you yeah hello and then thank you okay now we need to test this to have the Chinese enable to test Chinese and actually testing Chinese will or work only in standalone or play in standalone so we can come here and add dash culture equal and then the name here as you can see zh dash hands dash cn so we write this this is the name of the culture we are we want to test and if you have a different culture you'll definitely find its name listed here so I just hit come here where yeah so play in standalone game so which means I don't hit this play I hit play in standalone game this will launch the game and we should see the text above in Chinese here oh okay it's still English oh yeah I know we when we change it uh, we didn't compile actually because the, the language packages should be compiled so uh, yeah yeah this is right Z-H-H-A-N-S yeah so it's correct so let's uh, let's open where is the localization uh, yeah here so we need to compile all to save all the packages so hit compile all and yeah so this will generate the packages for the language compile translation yeah okay so now if we hit play again in standalone mode we should see the text in Chinese yeah so we see Chinese text so this is actually perfect and this is actually amazing it's a good way to create your game playable with tons of languages as long as you can provide the translation for those languages so handling it and managing managing it it would be a very easy task because if you are not going to use this localization, so basically you will be running with uh, spreadsheets and writing Google spreadsheets or Excel spreadsheets and then write exporter or something and then you start reading this and then you write, uh, you're writing, uh, you read, excuse me, you're reading a class, class to read and fetch the values from the tables, which is actually taking some time and sometimes it would be hard to explain this to a designer in your team or artist who want to change something in text to 
to test a font or something. So, but using this easy workflow is perfect. I hope it helps you. Thank you. Bye.